Hi all, let's talk about types of reports in SSRS. So why we need different type of reports in SSRS? Till now we talked about a table report, chart report, matrix report and those are all the default layout of the SSRS report items. So there are some requirements. So user might need a customized format than the Microsoft uh, preferred format. So that time we may need to customize based on the user need, based on the business requirement. So to satisfy or to acquire that particular need, so you may need to customize the report. There are some scenarios, you may need to pass some input to the report. So based on the input, report has to generate. So that is a one kind of report. And there are uh, some reports where you need to display the information based on the sections. So like a subheading kind of stuff. So that is a kind of separate report. So to satisfy that requirement, we have different kinds of reports in SSRS. Each and every report having their own unique list. Let me show you. So what are all the different types of reports in SSRS? So these are the list of reports in SSRS. First one is a parameterized reports. Second one is a linked reports. Third one is a snapshot reports. Fourth one is a cascaded reports. Fifth one is ad hoc reports. Sixth one is a drill down reports. Seventh one is a drill through reports. Eighth one is sub reports. Each and every one having their own uniqueness. So we'll talk about late in the later videos. So practically how to generate or how to design, how to observe the output of these reports. So please keep watching that videos as well so that you will be understanding what is the purpose of the particular report. Please subscribe and share your feedback.